Welcome back, everybody. We're back together with another video, and we're going to be talking about Rachel Zangler. That Snow White movie is coming now when next year, next summer, something like that. Yeah. Um, still have no intentions of seeing it. And we know that Rachel Zangler was very, very critical of the original 19, what, 38 classic? Mm hmm. And now she's trying to save face because everybody was destroying her for coming after the original classic. Look here, bottom in the comments. Disney's live action Snow White star Rachel Zagler claims her criticisms of animated original were intentionally misinterpreted. I've watched women get torn down my whole life. She's going out and playing the victim sexist card now. I mean, to me, I don't think that um, when I watched it, it was actually uh, misinterpreted. It wasn't. Do we need a refresh here? Should I actually play this clip? I think I should. Let's play this. Listen in. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Super weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because like we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. But yeah. Talking about the man's scenes could get cut. She's not going to be saved by the prince. She called it weird. Now she's saying it's basically misogyny now. Okay. This is um pretty crazy here, in my opinion. Did you misinterpret that? No. It seems like she was definitely um, attacking the original story, right? Yes. And it seems like when I first saw the title of the article, maybe she had um, have some experience of that women have been torn down before by men or something like that. That's really a modern conception here is that women have been disrespected in Hollywood, even though there's a lot of uh, female actor actresses and uh, characters that people like. But yet when it comes to her, it's misogyny. Well, I think in the title it said, like, I watch, yeah, watch women get torn down my whole life. So I'm not sure if she is talking about her own experience. And as a woman, I know there are some men and women out there who torn down women in general. But we're talking about uh, really Hollywood here. And I can't remember um, people. Now, I mainly grew up in the 80s and 90s. I don't remember people attacking women in roles because they were women. I mean, I remember um, Angelina Jolie, Laura Croft in Tomb Raider, right? Yeah. Was anybody attacking her because she was a woman? I no. don't, I, I don't recall that. In the movie Tomb Raider, the main character, the woman, is not woke. Even though she's have kind of like Indiana Jones, but she doesn't disrespect men or look down on men and everything. Yeah. Another movie that actually comes to mind is um, Underworld. Kate Beckinsale is a star of Underworld by Vampires and Werewolves. She's mm -hmm. a star. Nobody said that, hey. I'm going to tear down Kate Beckinsale because she's a woman in Underworld. People love those Underworld movies. They're actually pretty good. Not all of them, but 
most of them. And the ones that are good, it's not because of her. Yeah. Because the story sucks. I want to add that, okay, when you talk about the movie Tomb Raider, she, it's not like the movie Indiana Jones, Dial of Destiny, where Indiana Jones should be the main character, but it was the woman who took over. Yeah, Indiana Jones is really a side character in his own movie. Now, that movie wasn't necessarily bad just because um, the actress playing um, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, it wasn't bad just because of her, not her personally. I don't have a problem with her being a movie. No. But the story sucked that Indiana Jones is not supposed to be a side character in his own movie, but they did that simply because Indiana Jones is a straight white male. The movie was awful. Mm-hmm. But for her to... Rachel Zegler, I'm talking about, to come out and say, hey, I watch women uh, get torn down my whole life. What are you talking about? What in the world are you talking? This is ridiculous. This is a ridiculous take right here. This is a victimization take right here. Maybe in her own experience, but not in Hollywood. I highly maybe. doubt it's even in her own experience because we're really seeing this here from um, like, I believe she's only like, what, 24 or something like that. Very, very young. Very young. But this is what Hollywood has come to now. They make excuses every single time there's criticism. Mm -hmm. We've seen it. And these studios, they back them up. Look what happened with um, uh, the Acolyte and everything. They started blaming on racism and stuff. They did that with uh, the Obi-Wan show. Oh, all of a sudden now, after 40 years, the fans now are racist. They make excuses. Oh, you don't want to see a black woman in Star Wars. No, that's not the point. The character stinked. Nothing more. And Rachel Zegler is just still buying into um, this victimhood mentality. And it's not going to save her. I believe this uh, Snow White movie is going to bomb, don't you? Yes. Now, in the clip, she said it 2024, but we know that uh, Disney actually pushed it back to um, 2025. All of this victimhood stuff really needs to stop. We didn't misinterpret anything. You trashed the original movie that a lot of people love and like. Mm-hmm. So she just wants to play the victim. I, I really don't care what they do with this movie. I'm not going to see it. It's going to be a disaster. But that's all I got. Anything else you want to add to this? Yeah, I just don't think... Well, Disney is going to lose money even though if this movie comes out or not. It's better for Disney not to put out this movie in yeah. a way, though. Yeah. Because Snow White is just a classic movie and it shouldn't be reboot or anything. Just yeah. stay classic. Well, I don't have necessarily a problem with it actually getting rebooted. Remember, Daily Wire is doing it also. Um, but the Daily Wire trailer was much more well, well received than um, this one here. Yes. Uh, Rachel Zagler is just so unlikable. This whole victimhood mentality needs to stop. Yeah, I mean, if you reboot, at least has some classic element in the movie. Yeah, basically the way she was saying it is like they're completely changing stuff. But we have to see what happens. Gonna leave right there, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Till then, be safe. Goodbye.